Liam Mortis here with the running of the Haskell. It's a mile and eighth, two turns, a million dollars on the dirt, three year olds. It's a win in your end. It's the 54th running of the one million dollar Haskell coming up this weekend. Monmouth Park. Always like the Haskell. It's, this race here is bring some of the real, some of the best horses in the country together. Three of them placed in the Triple Crown races. Let's start off with a favorite, uh, Hot Rod Charlie. Hot Rod Charlie's going to go coming out of the four hole, six to five favorite. Hot Rod Charlie probably should be the favorite. He's tough, real tough. Doug O'Neill, Pratt up on him. He's got the blinkers off this time. I don't know how that's going to affect him one way or the other, but blinkers are off. Then the second favorite is probably most likely going to be Mandaloon at post time. I'm not sure. Uh, they got him um, definitely. Mandaloon's a heck of a horse. Mandaloon's probably got the best winning percentage of, of the three tough horses in this race and maybe four tough horses. Mandaloon, uh, seven, went to post seven times with four wins. Second and third, man, that's not too bad. Come out of the third hole. He won the Pegasus since he since he ran second in that you know, Kentucky Derby. I've been following this horse since day one. He's out of into mischief. Mandaloon's really tough. Brad Cox trained. Then we got Midnight Bourbon. Sorry, but tis now. I think Midnight Bourbon uh, is ready for a big race. Uh, he's really done well. Midnight Bourbon's ready for a big breakout r race here. He's Run it, come out of six poles. He should be in really good shape. Asmus and trained. He was second in the Preakness. Got Lopez up. He's really, um, really going to be a tough to deal with. But it's always between him and Mandaloon and Hot Rod Charlie. They'll be duking it out the whole way. Then we got Following C. I really haven't been big watching Following C. I've not since he left Bob Baffert's barn. He's with Todd Fletcher. You know, Fletcher's a great trainer, too. Just as good. And uh, he's out of Run Happy. Sire, I mean, he's sired by Run Happy. He's out of a Spikestown mare. Quick flip, I think it is. And Spikestown's one of the best sires around. We're going to find out here. He lightly raced. And it's a mile and eighth. And I, I'm, I don't think following the seas ran over six and a half furlongs. A couple of six furlongs and a six and a half. And uh, that stretched him out quite a bit. I'm sure Todd Fletcher knows what he can and can't do. Oh, but and Lasix is out in the Haskell. I'm still, I'm going with Hot Rod Charlie. Um, Hot Rod Charlie is just a monster of a horse, really tough. Running against two really tough horses in Mandaloon and Midnight Bermud. I like all three of them horses a whole lot and big fans of all three of them. You can't make no money betting on the nose on a on this race, but you can... Uh, you can put three of them together in the try. There should be. I, I'm just really like Hot Rod Charlie and Mandaloon and and Midnight Bourbon. I'm really big fans of all three of them. And well, good luck, everybody.